Hello, um, this is my first tutorial. In fact, I will be doing more. Um, right now, what I'm going to show you in this one, as you see, I've got a cigarette. It's laying here on the ground. I'll go ahead and give you a quick render of it. As you see, there it is. But, hey, where's the smoke? We need to go ahead and add that. Now, when I show you how to make this smoke, remember the material and how I made it. You can use this for anything as far as... Uh, vapors, plumes, dust, uh, smoke, you name it when it comes to that. And all you gotta do is remember how to make this material I show you and apply it to your uh, emitter. Uh, for instance, what we're gonna do is go ahead we're gonna create under particles we're gonna go to super spray. Go ahead and create one here. Move it over. What we're going to do is try to line this up at the end of the uh, cigarette. Seems like that's pretty good. Okay, so now that we got our super spray, what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to go over here to uh, load and save presets. We're going to go ahead and load the hose because it's uh, very relative to what we're doing. Let's go ahead and make this dots since we got that right there. Alright, open up particle generation. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and leave our uh, off axis at zero our spread, we're going to actually change this to 0 .04. Um, I've already figured out these settings. These work perfect for what I'm doing right here. Although these are changeable uh, depending on what kind of a smoke effect that you're wanting. Um, we're going to leave these the same. Let's go ahead and go down here. We're going to use a rate of 2. Being this is only a rate of 2, this will actually use less and be easier to render or, for instance, if you're somehow putting this into a program or a game, uh, it'll be very cheap on the memory. Uh, let's see. We want to go ahead and um, we're going to change the speed to 3. We're going to change the variation. Let's say we're going to put this down to uh, 0. The emitter start, we're going to start this at negative 100. That means no matter what already, through the whole thing, you're going to see your smoke as if it's already been there. Uh, we're going to have this stop at 1000. That way if you ever want to keep going, the smoke will keep going too. Um, now, let's see, we want to go ahead and have the, uh, we're going to leave all this the same. The size, we want this to be, uh, say, 15. Uh, the variation uh, 1.6. We're going to have it fade for 50 and grow for 50. What this means is uh, it'll grow in size by 50 and it'll fade in um, its opacity will fade for 50 which is pretty good for smoke. Um, it'll be pretty much a random effect on it. Now we want to go to uh, particle type. We're going to make this facing. And when you make it facing, it means no matter what way you turn around this with the camera, it's always going to be facing you and give a 3D effect, even though it's just flat planner uh, uh, maps. That's all it is. Uh, in fact, if you ever played video games, you'll notice uh, they have the same effect on a lot of things. All right, rotation and collision. We're going to take the spin time. This is uh, what the particles will spin at a rate of. So there, spin time of 38. All right, I think that's pretty much it for that. There we go. Now, here's the most important part. We're going to go to the material editor. editor. 
see we've got one right here I'm gonna go ahead and make another one for the pur purpose of this tutorial to show you um, how to make the most important part of this which is uh, the smoke material I'm gonna go ahead and drop the glossiness down smoke isn't like glossy or anything so keep that in mind I'm gonna go ahead and give us like a little bit of a lighter color now here's the important part pretty simple and quick go ahead and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a gradient for the opacity now we'll keep the black one at the top this is where it's gonna fade off to nothing as you see it fades off to nothing up here and this is actually well we're gonna make this a little darker there very hard to see now but somewhat visible we'll go ahead and put it about right let's see about right there alright this one we're gonna go ahead and add um, we're gonna get, instead of a color over here we're gonna go ahead and add a um, smoke modifier to it makes sense don't it so we've got the smoke modifier now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this really visible as it is but give off a smoke effect we want this to be at a size of about five uh, I've dropped the iterations down to four so there we go there's that now what I want you to remember is check the face map what this does is no matter where it's at or what it's on it'll just be on the faces of the object so we'll oh, forgot one thing we need to come back here this is going to be used radio gives it a circular look see how it's doing like that all right I'm going to change this to an RN hopefully I said that right um, what this does is it gives off a um, an effect of something that's more of a realistic uh, look as I would say if you choose blend or fong or anything like that that's more used for like uh, metal glass plastic things like that with a shiny surface alright we'll go ahead and apply this this is our new smoke let's go ahead and hit render and see what we got As you see up here, a little bit of smoke. I'm not sure why this is taking so long to do, but there you go. That's your smoke. And it's animatable. You can uh, use it for anything. It'll um, see if you want to animate this. Like, for instance, I had the cigarette rolling. Just go ahead and link it to the cigarette. Now, let's say you're throwing a cigarette. This is going to go wherever it goes, and the smoke will blend with it. Um, it'll, for instance, if I animate it going to here, oh. now you see the smoke will actually. Well, it's kind of unrealistic, but anyway, you kind of get the point here. Alright, so that's pretty much the tutorial. Um, just remember, uh, you can always mess with the, uh, the spray, figure out how you want it to look, uh, just mess with some of the things, you know, for instance, the rate or the speed, the variation, all that to uh, give it a, a, a look based upon what you need for your scene. Um, and most importantly, you got to remember the material. What it is, is you're pretty much making a, a circle that fades on the outside and fades towards the inside with a, a little bit of a smoke type, type of look.